In physics, black hole thermodynamics is the area of study that seeks to reconcile the laws of thermodynamics with the existence of black hole event horizons. As the study of the statistical mechanics of black body radiation led to the advent of the theory of quantum mechanics, the effort to understand the statistical mechanics of black holes has had a deep impact upon the understanding of quantum gravity, leading to the formulation of the holographic principle. Overview The second law of thermodynamics requires that black holes have entropy. If black holes carried no entropy, it would be possible to violate the second law by throwing mass into the black hole. The increase of the entropy of the black hole more than compensates for the decrease of the entropy carried by the object that was swallowed. Starting from theorems proved by Stephen Hawking, Jacob Bekenstein conjectured that the black hole entropy was proportional to the area of its event horizon divided by the Planck area. In 1973 Bekenstein suggested 1 2 lane 2 4 pi display style 1 half cdot lane 2 4 pi as the constant of proportionality asserting that if the constant was not exactly this it must be very close to it the next year, in 1974, Hawking showed that black holes emit thermal Hawking radiation corresponding to a certain temperature, Hawking temperature. Using the thermodynamic relationship between energy, temperature and entropy, Hawking was able to confirm Bekenstein's conjecture and fix the constant of proportionality at 1 4 S B H equals K a four p two display style s underscore text b h equals frac ka four l underscore text p caret two where a display style a is the area of the event horizon k display style k is Boltzmann's constant and p equals G C three display style l underscore text p equals sqrt g h b a r c caret three is the Planck length. This is often referred to as the Bekenstein Hawking formula. The subscript B H either stands for black hole or Bekenstein Hawking. The black hole entropy is proportional to the area of its event horizon. A display style a the fact that the black hole entropy is also the maximal entropy that can be obtained by the bekenstein bound wherein the bekenstein bound becomes an equality was the main observation that led to the holographic principle although hawking's calculations gave further thermodynamic evidence for black hole entropy until 1995 no one was able to make a controlled calculation of black hole entropy based on statistical mechanics which associates entropy with a large number of microstates in fact, so-called no hair theorems appeared to suggest that black holes could have only a single microstate. The situation changed in 1995 when Andrew Strominger and Kumaran Vafa calculated the right Bekenstein Hawking entropy of a supersymmetric black hole in string theory, using methods based on D-Brins and string duality. Their calculation was followed by many similar computations of entropy of large classes of other extremal and near-extremal black holes, and the result always agreed with the Bekenstein–Hawking formula. However, for the Schwarzschild black hole, viewed as the most far from extremal black hole, the relationship between micro and macrostates is expected to be clarified from the string theoretical viewpoint. Various studies are in progress, but this has not yet been elucidated. In loop quantum gravity LQG, it is possible to associate a geometrical interpretation to the microstates, these are the quantum geometries of the horizon. LQG offers a geometric explanation of the finiteness of the entropy and of the proportionality of the area of the horizon. It is possible to derive, from the covariant formulation of full quantum theory spinfoam, the correct relation between energy and area first law, the unruh temperature and the distribution that yields Hawking entropy. The calculation makes use of the notion of dynamical horizon and is done for non-extremal black holes. There seems to be also discussed the calculation of Bekenstein–Hawking entropy from the point of view of LQG. Topic: 
Topic: The laws of black hole mechanics. The four laws of black hole mechanics are physical properties that black holes are believed to satisfy. The laws, analogous to the laws of thermodynamics, were discovered by Brandon Carter, Stephen Hawking, and James Bardeen. Statement of the laws The laws of black hole mechanics are expressed in geometrized units. The zeroth law The horizon has constant surface gravity for a stationary black hole. The first law For perturbations of stationary black holes, the change of energy is related to change of area, angular momentum, and electric charge by d e equals kappa 8 pi d a plus omega d j plus phi d q Display style to equals frac kappa eight pi dot plus omega d j plus phi d q, where e display style e is the energy kappa display style kappa is the surface gravity a display style a is the horizon area omega display style omega is the angular velocity j display style j is the angular momentum phi display style phi is the electrostatic potential and q display style q is the electric charge topic the second law The horizon area is, assuming the weak energy condition, a non-decreasing function of time. d a d t zero. Display style frac da d t g e q zero. This law was superseded by Hawking's discovery that black holes radiate, which causes both the black hole's mass and the area of its horizon to decrease over time. The third law It is not possible to form a black hole with vanishing surface gravity kappa equals 0 display style kappa equals 0 is not possible to achieve topic discussion of the laws The zeroth law The zeroth law is analogous to the zeroth law of thermodynamics, which states that the temperature is constant throughout a body in thermal equilibrium. It suggests that the surface gravity is analogous to temperature. T constant for thermal equilibrium for a normal system is analogous to kappa constant over the horizon of a stationary black hole. The first law The left side, d, is the change in energy proportional to mass. Although the first term does not have an immediately obvious physical interpretation, the second and third terms on the right side represent changes in energy due to rotation and electromagnetism. Analogously, the first law of thermodynamics is a statement of energy conservation, which contains on its right side the term TdS. The second law The second law is the statement of Hawking's area theorem. Analogously, the second law of thermodynamics states that the change in entropy in an isolated system will be greater than or equal to zero for a spontaneous process, suggesting a link between entropy and the area of a black hole horizon. 
However, this version violates the second law of thermodynamics by matter losing its entropy as it falls in, giving a decrease in entropy. However, generalizing the second law as the sum of black hole entropy and outside entropy, shows that the second law of thermodynamics is not violated in a system including the universe beyond the horizon. The generalized second law of thermodynamics GSL was needed to present the second law of thermodynamics as valid. This is because the second law of thermodynamics, as a result of the disappearance of entropy near the exterior of black holes, is not useful. The GSL allows for the application of the law because now the measurement of interior, common entropy is possible. The validity of the GSL can be established by studying an example, such as looking at a system having entropy that falls into a bigger, non-moving black hole, and establishing upper and lower entropy bounds for the increase in the black hole entropy and entropy of the system, respectively. One should also note that the GSL will hold for theories of gravity such as Einstein gravity, Lovelock gravity, or Brainworld gravity, because the conditions to use GSL for these can be met. However, in the topic of black hole formation, the question becomes whether or not the generalized second law of thermodynamics will be valid, and if it is, it will have been proved valid for all situations. Because a black hole formation is not stationary, but instead moving, proving that the GSL holds is difficult. Proving the GSL is generally valid would require using quantum statistical mechanics, because the GSL is both a quantum and statistical law. This discipline does not exist so the GSL can be assumed to be useful in general, as well as for prediction. For example, one can use the GSL to predict that, for a cold, non-rotating assembly of n nucleons, SBH, S0, where SBH is the entropy of a black hole and S is the sum of the ordinary entropy. The third law Extremal black holes have vanishing surface gravity. Stating that kappa cannot go to zero is analogous to the third law of thermodynamics, which states that the entropy of a system at absolute zero is a well-defined constant. This is because a system at zero temperature exists in its ground state. Furthermore, delta S will reach zero at zero temperature, but S itself will also reach zero, zero, at least for perfect crystalline substances. No experimentally verified violations of the laws of thermodynamics are known yet. <laughs> Interpretation of the laws The four laws of black hole mechanics suggest that one should identify the surface gravity of a black hole with temperature and the area of the event horizon with entropy, at least up to some multiplicative constants. If one only considers black holes classically, then they have zero temperature and, by the no-hair theorem, zero entropy, and the laws of black hole mechanics remain an analogy. However, when quantum mechanical effects are taken into account, one finds that black holes emit thermal radiation, Hawking radiation at a temperature T H equals kappa 2 pi display style T underscore text H equals frac kappa 2 pi from the first law of black hole mechanics, this determines the multiplicative constant of the Bekenstein Hawking entropy, which is S B H equals a four display style S underscore text B H equals frac a four. Topic beyond black holes. Gary Gibbons and Hawking have shown that black hole thermodynamics is more general than black holes that cosmological event horizons also have an entropy and temperature. More fundamentally, T. Hooft and Susskind used the laws of black hole thermodynamics to argue for a general holographic principle of nature, which asserts that consistent theories of gravity and quantum mechanics must be lower dimensional. Though not yet fully understood in general, the holographic principle is central to theories like the ADS CFT correspondence. There are also connections between black hole entropy and fluid surface tension. See also Joseph Polchinski Notes <laughs> <laughs>